I had already made up my mind that I was planning on only getting four games this year, right? You know, those four games were pretty much simple. Or let me just say five. And that was the five that I had showcased inside my most anticipated games of 2024, right? You know, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown was one. Um, the other was Rise of the Ronin, Dragon's Dogma 2, Black Myth Wukong, and of course, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Five games, right? Five. But for some strange reason, there are games that have been coming out of left field that it has just been like catching me by surprise and just completely making me out to be a liar. I, don't, I like that, but I don't like that at the same time, you know? Now, what, what is all this for? Well, there's this new game that I just saw called Kanitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Uh, I was just browsing around and then it came across my timeline. I was like, yo, this kind of look good. And so I saw that they had a gameplay deep dive and I want to take a look at it with y'all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess, is a single player action game that will test your strategy skills in a Japanese inspired setting. Strategy the game skill. is set on a mountain like covered by that. defilement. During the day, rescue villagers to work with you. At night, the gates to another world open, and you'll fight to protect the maiden. I guess this is the only Mushi game Repeat that we this day -night that we, we, we probably only go and get. Them. This does kind of look nice, though. The setting, okay. Mount Kafuku, a land blessed by nature and the goddess who inhabits it, is suddenly engulfed in a black substance. This defilement transforms the mountain. It steals masks that contain the goddess's power. That's crazy. That kind of gives this kind of gives me like a villagers. instead it's like more colorful. Soul is the protagonist more colorful of the game. version of uh, Trek the Young. the maiden Yoshiro. As they use the masks and work with the villagers to purify each village and return the mountain to peace. Like where how the hands was popping out and all that. Now let's take a look at some in-game footage as we go over elements of the gameplay. Interesting layout. Okay. Torii gates cover the mountain. Request at night, the gate. these gates connect to another world, and the seed emerge to steal Yoshiro's power. Got it. During the day, you must purify the defilement and guide Yoshiro to the gates so she can sever the connection to the other world. Oh, this seems kind of cool. Villagers who have been purified are given powers through masks and are able to take on a variety of roles as they work with So to fight off the seethe. It's like y'all combine Woodcutters excel Okami at close quarters combat. Only Musha. Archers fight from a distance. Ascetics use spells. I mean, to just in terms of like seed. you know the layout, the brushing, and all there that purifying. Roles. But, but but you know it's it's always like that when you're dealing with uh, deities. You can or, freely or, place or villagers who have been assigned nature. roles. So is this like a tower defense? The carpenter accompanying So can repair contraptions in villages to help fight off the seethe more effectively. This is interesting. During the day, rescue villagers, make repairs, and strategically place villagers to fight off attacks. Yeah, because it's like it got some tower defense elements to it. Even like the way you're strategically placing your troops time. to prevent and like arrives I'm guessing the it. wave of, of of Oni coming through, you have the a gate where you can stop them at, the gates at or the sea attack Yoshiro in many different forms. So gracefully fights them off with dance like sword techniques. Join oh, the villagers crazy. who have been assigned roles and fight off the seas until the sun rises. So yeah, it's it's like a tower defense style game from the looks of it. And so you're preventing them from getting to the maiden, which is essentially your tower. 
you are able to operate Super freely and then power. the guys and that you so place down are essentially your sentry turrets and all of that so like if you were to play like a game like uh what is the name of that joint dungeon defenders it'll be like this that this is what this is like different aesthetic and all that of course Change but the, the, the gameplay time, loop even at night. of it it seems very similar to that of a, a tower defense. Will be if most you effective. abstract out all of the Real art and everything, that's what you're looking at. You're looking and at a tower defense. Will focus on. This is cool. Constant changes will test your. Because I've never seen tactics. a tower defense game that looks like this or operates like this. It's like they're pushing. They're pushing it forward. Shoot, I didn't even know people were still making tower defense games. Guide Yoshiro to the Torii Gates as the days and nights cycle to purify the gates and villages of defilement. Hey, yo, Capcom, y'all might have one. <laughs> y'all been on a roll, too, man. That's what's crazy. Amongst the seeth are the especially fearsome festering seeth. They pursue and then those Sobe are like the bosses Yoshiro right there. With powerful attacks. You still got to keep her protected. Working together with the villagers is the key to defeating the festering. And then you seeth. use the villagers to take purify the defilement, covering. And the they kind of like got what that pigment element to it too. Alright, I'll see y'all. <laughs> this title will be available in Japanese as well as English, Chinese, French, and other languages. Don't mind me, that's just brought to the share mind. this Japanese inspired setting and dynamic gameplay with players around the world. Because I'm not going to hold y'all. Like, Kunitsugami, aside from the Path few games the goddess, that I mentioned, like, I, I, Xbox sometimes I'd be wanting to give up on Xbox AAA games Series and just mess X, with indie developers S, or, you know, Windows, double A. PlayStation 5 and Steam available in 2024. I might get this on PS5. This might be a cop on PS5, yo. That that actually looks really really impressive because not only villages, not only does it have like its own aesthetic, its own style, but even like the core gameplay loop of it which is essentially you protecting and I'm just breaking it down. I'm just simplifying it to like its core gameplay elements, right? So to break it down, essentially the maiden is the tower. You have your troops, your sentries, which are essentially your turrets or people that guard a particular region. You could even see like the, um, the telegraph that's put down to showcase like which regions these dudes can protect and everything so that you know that if anything steps inside that that's when they'll their their states will change and then they'll go either on the offensive or they'll go back to their posts that that's pretty dope and on top of that you're still free to operate you're you are still a combatant and then that's when that dungeons defender element comes into it because and dungeons defender uh dungeon defenders i believe that was the first tower the first tower defense game that I played that actually allowed you to act while the tower defense uh, aspect or while the attack phase was happening in the tower defense game. And it seems like they picked up those elements. And then for the boss fights, the boss fights turn into a Pikmin style like game, which completely changes the gameplay state. It turns into like a Pikmin style game. And then you basically got your troops along with yourself and y'all taking on this big force to protect the maiden as well. So the protection portion is still there. That's probably still a part of your fail state as well as your own health, I believe. But at the same time, you have your own units to help you out in this. This is creativity right here. I mess with this. I want this game. <laughs> I want it. That's all. Go that's going to be all for me. I, I need to do some research. I'm probably going to go on like the page that Capcom has for this. And I'm going to look into it a little bit deeper to, 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 to get more information on it. Because this is, this is great. And the best part about it is YouTube actually recommended this to me. What a goddamn going shock. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like. 
If you would like to see more, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I plan on doing videos like this a lot more, as well as I live stream the games that I'm playing. Right now, I'm going through Grand Blue Fantasy Link Relink. I probably shouldn't have said that because I'm probably going to beat that game like in the next time I stream. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.